y'all right, i'm back at it again with another reaction well kind of just a video you know i'm watching a video it's ryan up church y'all already know my boy ryan i like to stay up to date he be keeping me up to date with shit you know and he just keep my mind right i, I know when i was younger you know y'all just know how childhoods be especially nowadays but it be what it be so ryan was definitely someone like who taught me a lot and was just there for me through his music and shit like that but you know i get I get into it in like earlier videos and shit like that. Maybe I'll do a whole whole video on it one day. But uh, yeah, we're going to see what he got for us today. Short little video. I'm going to add this one to another. I got. I know Indian Lee did a interview. I want to watch that shit. But uh, I believe in God, not religion. Deal with it. Let's get it. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear. No rhyming. Dear God. Sometimes you see shit and you're just like, oh, my God. Cringe. Facts. Fucking. Look at what this dude wrote thinking someone's going to give a fuck. Oh, I'm sorry, but Ryan Upchurch crossed a fucking line with me. And he said that the Bible is fake. He turned his back on thousands of his fans. Okay. So Ryan even says something because I know me and Ryan be thinking a lot and he just be beating me to saying it. <laughs> nah, I ain't even going to be like that. But uh, I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm to speak on it. Um, yeah, not really kidding, <laughs> but we do, we do think a lot, but, uh, we really don't know anything, and I wanted to make a whole video on this, I really want to get into more, like, uh, maybe, like, philosophical, and just, like, more just health and self-improvement and spiritual, spirituality videos and shit like that, I feel like that's, that, I could, that could be a good niche for me, but, uh, We don't really know anything, bruh. Like, we think we know, but there's been proof of them, you know, changing parts of the Bible, taking parts of the Bible out, shit like that. So how are you to say, act like you know everything and say that, that it's all true and it, like, Ryan's lying or some shit? There's literally proof, bruh. So don't try to sit up here and act like you know everything because you don't know everything, first of all. And second of all, why do you care so much what another person believes, bro? There's no way you that heartbroken and tore up over another person and what they believe. They can believe whatever they want to believe, bro. That ain't got nothing to do with you. It ain't hurting you or your family. Chill. You overreacting. You being a little dramatic. Yeah, you know so much about <laughs> religion and stuff. What Swear, you about? scholar, you about, you stupid nigga. fuck. Do you realize there's 50 main Bibles in English that are all different? And there's yeah, a total yeah. of about nine. You know how many times that bit has been translated from one language that we had no idea what where it really started? So who knows how it translated and what it actually was meant to say? So again, stop acting like you know everything. Because an actual smart person knows that they don't know everything. And there's no way you can know everything. But obviously, you're... You know, you're missing some brain cells because you don't know that. But er anyone who has brain cells know that there's no way you can know everything. Like, sh this shit could all be a lie. You know, the rich control history. They write the history. So it's like, come on, bro. Y'all got to be more aware than that. hundred common ones in English. <laughs> I mean, do you think there's one Bible? I'm talking about the Bible of Jesus. That's the one I'm talking about. Bruh, the Jesus Bible. The best part is the coverage on it from other people. Now, I've heard a lot of shitty rumors going around about Bubba, but I ain't never heard that. <laughs> oh, fuck a rumor of shit. Good thing we're not fifth graders anymore. Exactly, like, who cares? Now, I need video, I need proof on something about that. Fuck I don't yeah. get why so many niggas be on this nigga's dick, bruh. Like, that, y'all don't know how gay that is? Like, y'all really be hopping on the internet, making straight, like, just... hobgoblin videos about another grown-ass man. You be so tight, bro. You got, you a whole nother grown-ass man. Got a family. Job. Wife. You know what I'm saying? You probably could be earning a little more money. So what you got, you wasting time on the internet talking about another nigga. And you kind of broke. Nigga, if you can get out there and get a, like, get your money up, not your funny up. Open an investigation. Call the feds. 
Call the feds. They'll know. That's fucked. And I just don't want to that. Right. Yeah. That's What's fucked, fucked and unbelievable is the other guy thinks there's only one Bible. I need somebody to reach out Bubba. Is that, is that what you need? I, I think y'all need to stop fucking girls with uh, Bible verses tattooed on them and then the next day thinking you are a preacher and you've read all thousands of the Bibles. My favorite Bible verse is John Call 316 for God. You lucky Ryan grown and mature because he be going on in on your ass, nigga. If, but he ain't like that no more. He a changed man. But you better chill. He get on your ass for real. So love, WWE. <laughs> All right. Now, nah, we finna hop on uh, some shit. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. This one. I feel like it challenged me. Boom, we got Nelly Chopper on celibacy, God, self love, veganism, and more. First, rap TV. Anyways, I really fuck with Nelly. I feel like he be on some good movement shit. His, like, he be, on, he be talking a good talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've watched a lot of his interviews and seen him, like, with his juicing cleanse and fasting, meditating, and just praying and shit like that. That's good. That's what we need in our community, especially the youngins. And in NLE, we all in the same generation. I think he like a year to. How old is NLE? I don't fucking know. But we need young people like this, bro. We're the ones that can make a difference, especially NLE. He famous. He got a lot of influence. A lot of young people look up to him and are watching him. And it's like he be on a good, a good path until I see... A crazy ass music video he put them posted and it's just the opposite of what he be talking about. But anyway, we finna get on into this video. We're gonna see what he what the fuck he's talking about. My, them shoes he I made, they hard. No cap. Improve what? my freakness. Improve the kink. See, that's a wild statement, you know what I'm saying? But his his channel name Awaken Chopper. I, I don't get it, bro. Is that like is that blasphemy? Or is this, is this just a, a nigga falling from grace? I don't know, bro. Like, I fuck with Nelly, and I'm not one to judge, but I know what my eyes see. You ain't going to tell me that I don't know what I know. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I fuck with Nelly, and I feel like he always going to be a real nigga, even before he was on that shit. I knew he was a real nigga, and I was jamming his music. But it's just... I don't like lustful shit, bro. And like it, it, shit lately, lately, it's all just about women, and I don't want to see all that, bro. Like I'm just not on that. I feel like that's some, that's some little boy shit. That's some like immature ass shit. Like I got better things to do with my day, better things to do with my life. You too, Nelly, and I know you know better than that shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's Nelly Chopper. It's first for Rap TV. Let's get into it. First. Thing I do to me if I was a bad Bruh, bitch. That's hey, crazy. Lie, like, I ain't finna keep it PG with you with you people. I'm making myself calm. But if I was a bad bitch, I mean I wanna fuck me too. You know what I'm doing. You know you know what I'm doing. Why is it's this crazy. question even there? If I was a bad bitch, let me read this one more time. First thing I do to me if I was a bad bitch is make myself calm. First time encountering a hater. Hmm. Shit when God chose me. The devil been hating ever since, baby. Bad. First time a fan got out of pocket. Man, I was at a show in like um Carolina. I was just when I was doing a lot of club shows. Shout out NC, SC, Carolina stand up in the motherfucking building, nigga. We do be getting turned up though, but I feel like out of all the southern states, <laughs> hey, bro, like the Carolinas, they lit. Everybody trying to come to the Carolinas. We got a lot of shit popping. And stuff. I think I got into a fight with a fan because he kind of like was disrespecting me while I was rapping on stage. Don't be getting First disrespected. altercation I got in. Don't let niggas disrespect you in Ellie. In that school. <laughs> I got in so many altercations I cannot remember the first. It's been crazy, right? Too many. I done hit a teacher before. Oh, I, I was bad. He, you was I that kid. Boy knows cause he said he looked like that type of kid. Before. One time I told mama don't drop me off at school. I wasn't feeling good. As soon as I got dropped off, I didn't even make it in the building. I was walking to the school and got to fighting with somebody because they was messing with me. This is a lot. This is a lot of altercations at the school house. That's crazy. First reason I turned to celibacy. Man, focus up. 
It's like sometimes when you when you when you focus on something, when you got certain goals you're trying to accomplish, I think the best way to focus yourself is being in tune with your diet and being in tune with your sexual pleasures. I feel like those are two biggest things you might want to lust for. A little bit of punani and a little bit of food. You know what I'm but you gotta chill. Cause those are just distractions, especially if your brain gets, you know, a uh, a habit. If you make it a habit, bro, it's horrible for your brain. You literally letting that shit rot. It's like you gotta have discipline, have self respect, love yourself more than that. You know, if you want to be a king, treat yourself like a king, and you need to tighten up. First rapper to show me love, Blockboy JV. Uh, rip like first W. Big rapper, shout out. Blockboy JV. Shout out. Shout out. Love. A lot of love. First thing being from Memphis taught me. Man, you gotta be tough. Being in, living in Memphis <laughs> taught me that you not living in Memphis for real. You surviving in Memphis. So, Dang. Survival of the fittest. So that's some real shit. First time working with Lil Wayne. Ooh, I, my goat. Through for me, man. All praise to the Most High. Sometimes we pray for things and we forget. Bro, Lil Wayne, the best rapper. Okay, my number. Okay, so my number one rapper, J Cole. He's my favorite rapper, but the best rapper, Lil Wayne, alive. Lil Wayne, bro. He out rapping your favorite rapper. Period. That like hands down. I don't care who it is. Drake. Fuck out of here with that shit. Don't even come in my comments mentioning Drake. Talking about versus Lil Wayne, bro. Versus nobody, bro. I don't want to hear that bullshit. <laughs> I'm tired of that shit. All right? But uh, Rod Wave, my number one artist like of all time, probably. Just because, like... <sighs> Y'all just don't understand, bro. Rod Wave just real nigga. Get when God show up and we don't thank him. Like, all praise. But Lil, Wayne, so Lil Wayne, that one. To this day. And I got to work with the greatest rapper alive. Here he is, see? First thing I compare the smell of Budusi to. Hmm. Like a locker room or some shit. Feel me? It might smell like a little locker room. I really ain't never been in no, like, stinky locker room. I'm gonna be honest. Like, it might have been, like, a little, like, you know, Maybe like wet smelling, maybe I don't know, if, but like it ain't never really stunk for real. Maybe that's because I've only been in girl locker rooms. So. Well, girls locker room. What? Men's <laughs> locker room, whichever one. Just smell like worn out Budusi. First thing I can say about my next project, <laughs> Diamond, iconic. Just wait on it. First way to slut me out. Uh, hey, the first way to slut me out is to. Y'all, y'all gonna be mad at me if I just stop this shit, bro. Going vegan, be hey, we finna. Crazy. First reason I went vegan, man, lifestyle change. Um, time period of my life where I felt I needed to change a lot of things out with the old and with the new. And the vegan then he cut his hair. One of the new things I picked up on. Yeah. That is really good to do. Like, keep yourself on your toes, change it up a bit, don't get comfortable. Like, put your body through something, you know, you might not want to do or that might be a little different than what you're used to. It's just going to make you stronger at the end of the day. Promise it won't hurt you. First time working with Cole Bennett was iconic. Ooh, the GOAT Shadow for Remix. real. Coming off the big single, Shadow Flow. Shadow Flow, legendary. They all legendary, they swear. Took me there. We Especially with all the features we and mixed shit. mixed it with Blueface. The whole That's what's up. Was crazy. A lot of people. Shout out Cole Bennett, too. Oh, my gosh. Honestly, one of my inspirations. And I feel like he slept on we don't know what we planned to shoot originally was not the was not what happened that day the whole the day background kind, beat, kind of misconstrued we had to yeah. iterate and just kind of freestyle a lot of stuff and in the midst of it still was an iconic video first way i describe growing up on cottonwood i think the first thing that i remember with cottonwood though was um it used to be a tree that dropped um pecans outside in the yard and um i saw my dad he opened it up one time and started eating it off the Hell ground yeah. and i was like I love pecans. They're good protein, too. And they ain't really got that much fat or carbs. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? If you want to add a little muscle on you, you know, I'll be going to the gym and shit. I got some sauce on. You know, I had to do y'all a little, like, gym vid or some shit. But on my Snapchat, y'all can go follow me on my Snap. And y'all know when I go to the gym and shit on there, for real. Nasty. 
but not pecans. That's what's a good protein. First time I reconsidered being celibate. Then. Man, when you just open up your phone, that'd be the worst thing. Yeah. You just see bitches, bad bitches everywhere. Twitter. That's why, like, I be trying to put, like, a filter on my shit. I really ain't really got social. I, like, I just recently downloaded Snapchat back again. Just because, you know, I ain't really got access to my friends right now as I would like to because of, like, I don't have a car right now. Like, I got transportation, but not really, like, my own vehicle. I'm trying to get get it sold and fixed right now. But, uh, so, like, Snap is a way to, like, I can, like, easily, you know, keep them updated and be updated and shit like that. But, uh, and Twitter, like, I got a Twitter for, like, to, you know, promote and go along with my YouTube and shit and keep y'all, like, more included and get more of, like, a com community feel with you guys. But, like, I really hate Twitter, y'all. Like, that shit is disgusting. That shit is, it's just toxic and, like, that shit is nasty. But, like, I turned all the filters on, right? And I went back and that shit was still the same. And I was like, boy, what the freak? So I'm just gonna, gonna have to go through and, like, block a lot of words, see if that works. But I don't want to, like, do all that. But, like, it is what it is. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be worth it. But yeah, the only social media I really got is YouTube and the Twitter for the YouTube and Snap for the friends. Twitter, mm -hmm. man. Twitter like Pornhub. Right, it's just be crazy on Twitter. Right. So, you know, you it's what you are, bro. Sometimes. You got to know That's when to get off your phone and just be protect in tune your and eyes. the window down and seeing. Really just protect yourself. Protect your energy. Protect everything. And New York. We in New York, Because right? ain't nobody else going to really protect you like you. Like, you just got to put your head out the window like a Think about it. Get off that phone. It's gonna do it all the time. First Going time, the fan got me tatted. I cannot remember the first time, but it's a few fans if you find them. I think a lot of people don't understand that Enelie Chava is like the Michael Jackson of the generation. People Where? don't peep it. This is one fan. He got the whole Enelie on the neck. Oh, that's hard. N -L -E. That is crazy, right? That's hard. It's a lot though. of women got me tatted. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. It goes deep. <laughs> first thing that turns me off in a girl. Personality. You gotta have good personality, you know? You can't be a bad bitch with a bad attitude. That's, yeah. Uh, if you pretty on the outside, you better be pretty on the inside. If not, then, like, like, that just makes you worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, you pretty and you, but why you mean? Like, why you gotta, like, you not, like, come on, bro. Bad bitch with Chill. a good attitude, so, you know, anyone that's positive can laugh, funny, don't take Facts. life too serious. Bring something into my life that's good. Because I got enough bad. I can't have bad on my own. I need you to bring me something good. I mean, that's what I fuck with. Whenever you don't do those things, I mean, that's a turn off for me. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Started with the first question. Now we on the last one. First piece of advice that I give. And that, my friend, the perfect way to end this interview is keep God first. Keep prayer Amen. first. Keep Italy. family first. W, all those w. First, like all in just one big group. Facts, most important facts. Part is God. Love. I think keep love. Beautiful. Keep love first. Love what loves you. God loves you. Your family loves you. And that your family ain't even got to be your blood, nigga. That's whoever you consider your fam. Your family, nigga. You know? You know? Love who loves you. Love, love. And, you know, only give your energy to, to love, for real. To God. To your family, to your friends, to your job, to your passions and shit like that, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the vid. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe for more. I appreciate all the love and support. And I'll see y'all in the next one.